now that I'm not operating the boat, now I can drink a beer. What are you looking at? Man, these birds are gonna make a mess on the boat. They're gonna make a huge mess. Oh, so this is all the fish I caught today. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful group of that one still alive. How beautiful that fish is. Yeah, that's a big boy. Alright, that's plenty of fish for days here. This is the big boy. I think this one I'm taking him home. That beautiful piece of meat. Beautiful. I'm gonna leave this piece right here for breakfast. The rest is gonna be for dinner, and this is gonna be for breakfast. Beautiful piece of fillet of meat. Look at that. Perfect, it's about almost a pound and a half here. Yeah, I'm just really curious what that uh, shit is. It's right in front of me. Look at that. Look at that grill, how it looks. What we're gonna need is this pan right here, and some oil, and just start frying. Let me show you the color of the water here. This color is just like the color in the Bahamas. Look at the color of the water. You can see right through it. You can see the uh, marine life run down there. I think the quality of the water here, uh, it's just as good as the Bahamas. This is about six feet of water here. And you can see right through the bottom. All right, got the air conditioner on. It is super hot. I took a shower and I'm drying the curtain. Once that curtain dries up, I'll store it. I usually leave it out there for a little while so it dries up really good. Look at how beautiful that is over there. Too bad they don't allow me to use the drone here. It would have been a nice uh, footage here. Look at that beautiful blazer grouper. I left a good piece for tomorrow for breakfast. I'm gonna do bacon and grouper in the morning. That's gonna be an awesome breakfast. And this is gonna be for the dinner today. I'm going to beer batter it. But first, I'm gonna dry it up a little bit so there's no water in here. This is salt water. Mm, this fish smells really good. To tell you the truth, I was not expecting to eat fresh grouper today. I had steak, mushrooms, and some of the foods that I brought, but I did not have this in mind. This is a treat. I have so much fish uh, that I can eat for about four days if I wanted to, but the rest of the fish that I don't eat, I'll take it home to my family. My wife made the um, 
beer batter already at home. Yeah, it's good. With beer batter, it tastes so much better. The flavor is just incredible. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put some beer in here. And spread this around into like a kind of liquidy. I've done it before in a slip lock and it works great. But today I'm gonna do it on the plate. It's gonna be more fancy. And let me tell you something. Now, a lot of people here like that boat right there, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, back in the day, I had an 18 foot center console and it was not that comfortable. This boat is a lot more comfortable than my uh, center console. But the only difference here is having air conditioner inside the boat. It's just, it's nothing like it. It separates, I mean, that boat is, a lot more expensive than this boat. There's a lot of boats out there like that that cost like $250,000, $300,000 with two engines. But what I'm surprised is they don't have air conditioning for that price. They have a cabin and some of those boats don't have an air conditioner. Air conditioner is what really makes your time out there um, separate from really having a hard time out there. I have to get another beer. I couldn't do the beer better without another beer. Like a liquidy paste like that. See how it looks? It smells really good because it already has seasoning in it. So now all I gotta do is put the fillets in here. Look at that beautiful meat. This is incredible. See, now just flip it. See how it attaches to it? Flip it a couple of times. Doesn't matter how many times you flip it. Look at that. Beautiful. Now let it marinate there with the beer. And before you fry it, flip it again. See? So that batter really sticks to it and adds flavor to the fish. Beautiful, look at that. Let me wash this plate. Yeah, this plate really cut down on the waist and on my garbage. I'm gonna make some uh, fried toast on it with the fried fish. Hope it's like my plantains with my fried fish. It's beautiful. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna go over there and uh, check out that fortress. See what it looks like. It looks like we didn't have a sunset because of the clouds. So it looks like it's gonna be raining. All right, now I'm gonna put the fish in. Leave it there for a little while. Right around here, so it's pretty close to us. It looks like it's right in color, so it might be coming towards me. That's exactly what we're seeing right out there see the owners of that boat what they did was they put a tarp 
so that way when it rains tonight they don't get wet that's the only way they'll be able to sleep is getting the bean bags so they can sleep on the bean bags they're pretty comfortable the only bad thing is if, if they get wet but you know what they're not crying about it they are enjoying their days out here you got to give it to them you know they don't have a cabin but they're making it happen awesome i did that in the past it didn't stop me from going out there did not cry about it either and right there there's another boat that it looks like maybe might have a little bed inside of the center console might have a little bed in it but they're about almost eight guys they're not gonna fit in there they gotta sleep outside they got no problem with it see again they're not crying about it they are just having a good time doesn't matter if they can not have air conditioning or be covered 100% of uh, from the rain awesome yeah but definitely it's gonna rain Look at that sizzling. All right, we're shifting. The wind is shifting. The anchor line we just went up. And I got some tartar sauce. This tartar sauce is delicious. Tartar sauce is delicious from Kraft. All right, so this is what we got. Fried beer batter, red grouper. Awesome. And some tostones. Nothing better than that. I love tartar sauce. All right, let's try to see how this grouper looks. Look at that. Flaky meat. Look at that. So oily. Mmm. Delicious. Red grouper is awesome. I did not think that I was going to be eating red grouper today. Wow, it's getting really windy out there. Look at this, how ugly it looks. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. Look at that, right there. But at least I'm protected here from this little island here. Those big boats over there, they got no protection. All right, I'm gonna take the shower curtain out. Because it looks like the wind is gonna take it out. All right, I already took the shower curtain out of there because it was getting kind of windy. I'm gonna fly it off too. Beer batter gives it an awesome flavor too. It's about the storm really bad it's a lot of lightning another boat just came in right now there he was coming in for uh, to get shelter this is the only place here that you can get shelter at there's no other places here here if you don't find this shelter right here you're lost on a storm you're done Look at that. That's right on us. That looks real bad. It's going to hit us right on. I'm going to keep my uh, radar on because if any of these boats drag towards me they're gonna hit my boat I'm the last one so there's one two three four and all the other big ones out here so I'm gonna keep my um, radar on if any of these boats are getting very close to here I'll be able to see it because at night right now you can't see nothing out there well, the rain started already and I got my anchor alarm on so if I leave that area there, the alarm is going to sound. 
and we don't want to get hit by lightning because that's not going to be good. Once the lightning hits, it goes right through the hull of the boat. See, now we're shifting again now. And we're moving. Oh boy, those two boats are really close to each other. Yep, they're about to hit each other. Oh boy. There's a big boat there oh and um in a sailboat really close to each other Ooh. oh boy that was right here somebody got hit we don't want to get hit by lightning nobody wants to get hit by lightning here it looks like they're really struggling right there that boat right there struggling Oh, there's another boat in front of them. Look at that big boat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See, the bigger the boat, the less the anchor is going to hold. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, my God. The anchor is not holding. Their anchor is not holding at all. It's being dragged. Wow, this is pretty crazy. And now they're coming towards me. That boat is going to the shallows. He's gonna get stuck. He's gonna get stuck right there. Oh. That boat is gonna be in trouble. Because he's in very shallow waters. Look at that. Oh. This boat back here, I'm worried about because this boat is uh, drifting. Woo! Yeah, it's a heck of a storm. Look at that boat over there. He's a big boat, and his bow is touching the front. Is touching the uh, the water there. Now again, I'm really concerned about that boat right there because that's a big cruiser. And he's on three foot of water. Let me get my light vest because I'm going to put my light vest on. Just in case. Yeah, that boat is too heavy, and I'm sure the anchor is undersized. It's, it's such a big boat, and he's on two feet of water. Water right over there. Two feet of water. He needs at least five feet of water to to uh, maneuver. Look at the bow of that boat. He's touching the front. The bow is hitting the waves. Ooh. Ooh. I think that lightning hit one of those boats right there. See, there's a boat right here. 
he's hitting almost that sandbar right there. And that bull back there, I, I lost sight of him. He's, he's in a bad position. that is in, uh, hitting in the shallows. This is one foot of water back here. He's in two foot or three feet of water. So that's really shallow for his big boat. Another boat here, another one here. You see it? When the lightning hits. Dry Tortugas is in the middle of nowhere. Even though this is the shallow water here in the middle, when they're blowing, woo, when it's blowing, it's blowing hard. Imagine if this happens in the middle of the night when you're sleeping and boat starts dragging. All right, it's coming down a little bit. Woo! Scary stuff. The bigger the boat, the harder it is to keep an anchor when it's blowing hard. Yeah, that boat right over there, that's a big boat. Right there. That's a big sailboat. He's dragging too, I think he hit bottom. Cause that's a real shallow right there. That's like three feet of water right there. And that's a sailboat. All right, and look 
dragging me. I am not dragging anchor. That's why you gotta have the proper chain and the proper anchor for your boat. That big boat there with three motors, I am sure he has a very small anchor. And you shouldn't have that. You need a huge anchor. When your boat is like 14,000 pounds, your anchor needs to be huge. And a lot of people think that, you know, in good days, you put an anchor and it works. But um, when it's storming, it's not gonna do anything. I think that sailboat over there, he's in trouble. Because he's a sailboat and he's not supposed to be in three feet of water. I think tomorrow we're gonna find a couple of boats stranded. Hopefully I'm not stranded either. So right now I have that boat next to me here and another one here. The other boats that they left forward. This is the big sailboat that I was talking about. Look at that. That's a foot of water. That's a big sailboat right there. One foot of water, that's where he's at right now. perfectly it's just the right size of anchor for my boat and I have not dragged anchor at all even with this three foot waves that we had here a little while ago no problem I have perfect scope perfect chain and the perfect anchor this anchor that I have I highly recommend it because it's not that expensive, it's stainless steel and it works incredibly. And if you have a bigger boat, you just got to get a bigger anchor of this one. In my case, I got, I believe the 14 pound or 16, don't quite remember. But the bigger your boat, then the bigger the anchor, the bigger the weight, the bigger the chain, the longer the scope of the rope got to get all that in consideration remember your anchor is your real estate that's what keeps you in your spot if you don't have the proper anchor or chain I will place the link in the description below of this anchor hopefully this will help you to have a good anchor in your boat fishing here today than I ever have done in the Bahamas. These waters don't get fished like the Bahamas does or Florida. So these waters, when you throw bait down in a spot, the odds are that that fish has not seen bait in a long time. So from my experience, this fishing here at Dry Tortugas is better than the Bahamas and better than Florida. I have never in my life caught so many big groupers at the same time never i hope we don't get another storm like that at night time because that's going to be surprising to a lot of people when they're sleeping all 
All right, guys, I'm going to get some rest, and I'll continue this trip in the next video. Thank you for watching, and always navigate safe.